Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another awesome tutorial video. So if you like me and you've just been out and purchased the new Samsung Galaxy S6, this device here, you're probably wondering how to root it. Well, I'm going to take you through my guide real quick and show you how to do it. It's real simple to do. Let's see if I can get this camera to focus. Okay, so it's real simple to do. First thing you'll need to do is, you'll need to... Um, Back up all your important files just in case it wipes your phone. So just make sure you back up all your important pictures and videos and whatever. Next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to go into settings on your phone. And you'll need to go down to where it says about device. And you need to check your model number. So make a note of your model number. My model number is SMG920F. So make sure you make a note of your model number. Then the next thing you need to do is you need to go to Chain Fires site. So go to autoroot.chainfire.eu. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Once you open it up, you'll see a long list of different devices. So you need to find your device number, model number, what you took a note of. So I'll be looking for SMG920F. So SMG. Nine two or F, there it is. So once you've found your model number, just go ahead and click the download button. So I've already downloaded it, and here it is on the desktop. CFRO root, there it is. I've already downloaded it. So just right click on your desktop, make a new folder. Open it up. And then drag and drop drop CFR or root into there. And there it is. I've got it on there. Then just right click on it and extract here. Takes a few seconds to extract. And now what you need to do is you need to look for the file what says .tar on the end. .tar md.5 and just store it on your desktop. Okay, next thing you need to do is you need to download Odin. And it's version v3.10.6. So I'll leave a link to Odin v3.10.6 in the description down below. So just download it. Store it on your desktop. It'll be a zip file just like this. What you need to do with that is you need to right click on it oops sorry you need to right click on it and select extract here and then once it's extracted you should see the Odin v3.10.6 exe just click on it and then it should launch Odin now what you need to do is you need to put your phone into download mode and to put your phone into download mode it's real simple just press power off well done. Press power, power off. Once it's off, press the volume down button on the side, along with the home button and along with the power button. Press all three until it goes into download mode. Now press volume up to continue. 
and now you've entered Odin download mode okay so what you do now is connect your phone to the USB cable just like this okay so once it's connected this little box here at the top of Odin where it says id.com it should be blue if yours is not blue and it's still grey that means you need to install the Samsung drivers and to install the Samsung drivers you need to download Samsung keys so I'll leave a link to Samsung keys in the description down below once you download Samsung keys and install it it will install the needed drivers what you need so anyway what you need to do now is you need to select AP and look for the CFO root file what you saved to your desktop so I found it there it is CFO root so just go ahead and click on it Now go ahead and hit the start button and as you can see it's flashing recovery cache it's flashed it onto the phone and it should now say pass up there in the top left hand corner whatever you do keep your phone connected don't unplug it yet until it fully reboots okay so it's finished booting up there now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the super user app so disconnect your phone go into the app tray and there you have it we have super user just open it up select no thanks Now we're just going to confirm root, so go into the Play Store and download Titanium Backup. And as you can see, super user request grant. Titanium backup has been granted super user access. As you can see up here at the top, root access, okay. So yeah the Samsung Galaxy S6 is now rooted as you can see it was a real simple tutorial and that's how you root the Samsung Galaxy S6 like I says be sure to back up all your important documents and files and whatever before you do this because there's just to be on the safe side it it doesn't really wipe your phone but just to be on the safe side just make sure you back everything up so yeah this was just a quick tutorial showing you how to um, 
root for Samsung Galaxy S S six. Sorry, God, I'm finding it hard to say it. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching the video. I'm out. Also, stay subscribed and um, stay tuned because I will doing a I will be doing a tutorial video showing you how to unroot the Samsung Galaxy S six and how to put it back to stock. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you get stuck with anything, leave your comments in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. It's your boy, the Android Doctor. I'm out. Deuces.